Okay, uh, progress on the water leak. Um, when I got, the first time I looked at this, I saw the owner had taken part of the luggage rack off. But, um, I wanted to eliminate that as the water leak. Remember, they had, had a leak coming, which is why I had to pull the carpet and the interior out of it. And, uh, got it all out up to that uh, pillar right there the water leak was actually dripping like six or eight inches up from the back of this rear pillar here and uh, what I did is kind of a process of elimination use the water hose on just the window and there was uh, no leak uh, with the luggage rack in place I hit all three mounts still no leak but when I would shoot the water up in an arc and let it hit the roof like a rain shower the leak would start dripping and it was like right in here on the inside somewhere in this area so I took the luggage rack off and taped off all three of the mounting holes with masking tape and uh, conducted the test again and it leaked again uh, then I came back here and I didn't think that the brake light would be an issue because the brake light is farther back the uh, fifth the third uh, the third brake light is far enough back so I didn't see even with I've got this up on up on a jack and it's got a pretty good uh, rake, pretty good angle, uh, you know, going backwards. And I didn't see how water at this level could come up, go uphill and drip down in this area right here. So I took the brake light off and I taped these two holes and the leak stopped. There is a hole for the, uh, for the wire right there, the connector to go through. And there's a hole right here, wide open. So I taped both of these off, conducted my experiment, and it stopped leaking. So I'm going to go ahead and just just to just in, just to verify, I went ahead and took the tape off of this hole right here, poured some water down in it, and it definitely went over and went up about six inches and drained out of a hole up there. Weirdest thing. Uh, it's like it's defying gravity. Um, but if you look at the angle here, you can see how it would go down in the corner, and if it built the level built up high enough. Uh, how it would actually make its way up there. So if you've got a leak on a 97 through uh, I don't know on the Tahoe's or the Suburbans um, And it, you think you're leaking in your back windows Check your brake light holes. I'm gonna seal those up. I already checked my brake lights all the LEDs still work on it So it's good and I'm gonna go ahead and stick it down and silicone it So it's sealed and put my luggage rack back on we're good. We're good. All right, and uh, so that's problem number one solved I wanted to get the leak taken care of uh, before I did anything else on this. All right. All right, back on the Tahoe. I think I mentioned on some of the previous videos that I was having trouble with one of the cylinders dropping. And I took the uh, spider injector, or the fuel injection assembly, the central port injector apart. And I was having trouble with uh, cylinder seven. The reason I know I was having trouble with cylinder seven, or number seven, is because I have an infrared and um, I could start it up and shoot the uh, infrared at the uh, in, at the exhaust manifolds, and I was running around. And once it warmed up, and uh, sitting here with a little bit of uh, open throttle on it, I was hitting around 360 to 380 on each one of these uh, intake uh, exhaust ports, except for the one in the back, number seven. Uh, I was running about 180, 190. I was running to a good 200 degrees cooler than the rest of them. And I switched spark plugs, spark plug wires, and even made sure that I had ignition on the on number seven by pulling the spark plug out. And I was pulling the wire off the plug and letting it ground against the, uh, the manifold, and it was still uh, it was showing that we had good good ignition. So I went ahead and pulled it all apart. And it's, instead of spending 300 bucks on a new injector assembly. I'm going to go ahead and replace the single. I got this online on eBay. 
for 30 bucks um, shipped to my door and I'm gonna go ahead and replace uh, number seven and start it up and see if the mist goes away uh, what I didn't want to do is spend a ton of money on this you know go ahead and buy a three hundred and something dollar injector and find out or three, how much however much they are to buy a full assembly and find out there's still an, another issue with it I never did a compression check on it I should have um, I probably could now but I've already got it apart this was 30 bucks the gasket set was 20 so if it works then great up and running if not then uh, I'll back up a couple of yards and punt but I'll get this in and start it up and let you uh, hear it when it runs and see if it uh, straightens out the miss all right let's have some fun okay got the uh, on the back side of this uh, injector assembly there is a couple of nuts and a little plate that holds the uh, holds the injectors in the block and on the side of the block I don't know if you can see it or not but they are numbered right there and I pulled number seven out just a matter of um, putting some needle nose pliers on the little port here this hose pops off once you get that hose off you can grab hold of the port and slide it out of the hole here's the new cylinder uh, new injector for cylinder number seven I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some oil on it I've got uh, some light duty oil there I put it on the oil rings slide it into place reinstall the bracket the two nuts and then uh, set this back in we'll see what happens all right well, it's the next uh, day, and I didn't um, record last night. Oh, there we go. Didn't record last night because uh, by the time I got done, it was dark. I wouldn't have been able to see anything anyway. But I got the uh, the new. I guess they call them poppets. I don't know. I've heard people call them poppets before. But I got the new injector installed for cylinder number seven. And uh, it wasn't too bad overall. It was about um, about a two and a half hour, three hour job. Easy part, as always, as usual, is taking it apart, and then going back together is a little more trouble. Just remember, um, you know, where you where you get your bolts, where your bolts come from, because you're going to be going back with mounting brackets and nuts like that. Uh, let's see. All right, let me fire it up right quick. I know it runs well because I already started it up uh, last night. But no more miss. No more miss on, on number seven. And um, the uh, check engine light is still on, so I'm going to disconnect the battery, drive it around for a little while, and then take it over to uh, Auto Zone or. O'Reilly's. I'll be AutoZone because it's a shorter drive and this is completely 100% illegal right now because it's not inspected. Uh, the inspection is expired and so is the registration. So uh, Take it over there and get it checked out and um, see what the next code is. Alright, so just replacing the one injector uh, did the trick. That's it. Thanks guys.